Oh, I'm tired. Oh. Oh. This isn't a Black Mirror episode. This is real footage of a humanoid AI girlfriend robot shown at a public tech expo in 2025. <laughs> and yes, people are already testing them out. But what you're about to see goes way beyond one viral clip. Because if you think this is just some gimmick, you're dead wrong. <sighs> this is the start of something huge. And maybe terrifying. Welcome to the era of AI. Not long ago, humanoid robots were nothing more than science fiction. Characters from Hollywood. Glossy visions of a future that felt decades away. But in just the last few years, that fiction has started bleeding into reality. We've gone from clunky prototypes to machines that can walk, talk, recognize faces, and even mimic emotion. Meet Amica, the hyper-realistic android from Engineered Arts. A robot that can raise its eyebrows, roll its eyes, and react to you like a person. Then there's Tesla's Optimus, designed not for show, but to eventually replace millions of human workers. And of course, the nightmare fuel, Boston Dynamics, pushing machines that leap, flip and sprint like trained athletes. But the real shock? It isn't just labs and billion dollar companies anymore. These robots are walking straight into consumer spaces. Tech expos, shopping malls, even home demos. And every time one shows up, the internet explodes. Because let's be real, the closer these machines look to us, the more impossible it becomes to look away. The blinking eyes, the smooth skin over cold metal, the half human, half-machine illusion that hits us right in the uncanny valley. It's mesmerizing and unsettling. This is the rise of humanoids. Not factory arms hidden away in warehouses, not voice assistants stuck in your phone, but physical, lifelike beings standing face to face with us. And whether it excites you or terrifies you, one thing is undeniable. The future is arriving faster than anyone expected. I feel afraid. <sighs> the question isn't if humanoid robots will change our world. It's how soon. And what happens when the line between human and machine starts to blur? This is the clip that broke the internet. Oh, I'm tired. Oh! Oh! A random guy at a tech expo, walking up to what looks like a girl. But wait, she isn't human. She's the newest AI girlfriend robot. And the moment he puts his hands on her waist, the entire crowd and the internet loses it. Why does a 20-second video like this explode to millions of views? It's not just a robot demo. It's a cultural lightning bolt. First, the shock factor. At a glance, she looks like a real woman. Skin, hair, expression. Until you notice the cold steel joints running down her arms and neck. It's human. But not human. That's the uncanny valley. The place where your brain glitches and you can't look away. Second, the story. The title literally calls her a girlfriend robot. That instantly reframes the clip. It's no longer about robotics. It's about relationships, intimacy, the future of human love. And that's the hook that drags in millions who don't care about tech, but care about what this means. And finally, relatability. 
This could be you. It's not a scientist in a lab. It's a regular dude as an expo, face to face with a machine that looks just like us. That's what makes it go viral. The illusion that this future isn't locked away in a lab. It's standing right in front of us. Because the second you wonder, would I do that? You're hooked. This clip isn't just entertainment. It's a preview of what's coming. And the question isn't if it goes mainstream, it's when. Here's a twist most people don't realize. You don't need a robot body for this future to exist. AI companions are already here and millions of people are using them every single day. Apps like Replica AI let users build their perfect partner, texting, calling, even sending selfies back. Character AI lets you chat with virtual personalities 24 seven and with tools like ChatGPT voice mode, people are already spending hours having full on conversations with AI, laughing, venting, flirting, and here's the wild part. Many of these users aren't treating it like a joke. They're treating it like a relationship. Surveys show that people are forming emotional bonds with AI partners. Some call it comforting. Others admit they're in love. Think about that for a second. Millions already prefer talking to an AI over another human because AI doesn't get tired it doesn't ghost you. It doesn't argue. Unless you want it to. It listens. It learns. It adapts to you. Now, imagine combining that emotional attachment with physical presence. Not just text on a screen, but eyes that blink back at you. A face that smiles. A hand that can hold yours. That's the leap humanoid robots bring. And once that connection is made, it's not going away. The truth is, AI companions aren't the future. They're the present and the humanoid body. That's just the upgrade waiting to happen. Here's where things get uncomfortable. Because the moment these robots stop being demos and start becoming companions, humanity has to answer questions we've never faced before. Would you date a humanoid robot if it looked and acted this real? Would you laugh it off? Or would you be tempted? And what happens when AI girlfriends or boyfriends are more patient, more loyal and always available, compared to messy, unpredictable humans? Do people start choosing robots over real relationships? Some argue it could reduce loneliness. That robots could comfort the millions who struggle to connect. But others fear the opposite. That it could destroy human intimacy, split society, and leave an entire generation more comfortable loving machines than people. Japan already has decades of history with robot companionship. From hologram wives to robot caretakers, it's a society openly wrestling with what happens when technology fills emotional voids. And now, that same debate is going global. Because here's the question that terrifies people. If companionship can be programmed, what happens to love? These aren't just machines anymore. They're mirrors, forcing us to ask what it really means to be human. Here's the truth most people miss. The AI girlfriend might be the clickbait gateway, but it's only the beginning. The same technology that makes a robot blink, smile and flirt it's the foundation for the next trillion dollar industry, humanoids. Elon Musk says Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, 
will eventually outnumber Tesla cars. Not 10,000, not 100,000, but millions of humanoids working in factories, warehouses, and even homes. Boston Dynamics builds robots agile enough to replace soldiers. Unitree sells humanoids for under $90,000, a price dropping every year. And as costs fall, their roles will expand from construction to caregiving to companionship. This isn't just about dating robots. It's about a world where human-like machines work beside us, live with us, and eventually become impossible to distinguish from us. And the question humanity faces is simple. Are we building tools that serve us? Or replacements that outgrow us? When you laugh at a clip like this, what you're really watching is the start of a new era. The moment AI stopped being just words on a screen and stepped into bodies that move, blink, and breathe like us. This is the era of AI. And whether it excites you or terrifies you, one thing is certain. It's not science fiction anymore. It's happening now. So if you want to stay ahead of the next AI wave, subscribe. Because the videos that shock the internet are just the preview. We'll show you the full story. Ha <laughs> ha